it's Carol Morak at carolmorak.com. Welcome to Solo and Smart, my YouTube channel for individuals who are growing older alone. And in the last few videos, I addressed my Aging 101 Starter Kit. And if you subscribe to my newsletter, you will receive this starter kit for free. And uh, the starter kit addresses the five top challenges in your aging plan. And start by answering the five questions per top life's domain category. And we've already addressed health, money, and social connections. And in, this, in the uh, Aging 101 Starter Kit, uh, it's a simple questionnaire, and it's more like a roadmap that gives you clarity and control of the years to come. Because by thinking through the questions that I ask in the kit will uh, really does give you uh, time to think about and consider uh, how you plan to address the issues around your health, your money, social connections, and the other two which I plan to address. And by addressing them and answering the questions, you will begin to feel more confident, comfortable, and secure about the years ahead. And the five, the, or the five questions or the list of questions really illustrates the top challenges you will face. So just be honest when you answer the questions and think sincerely where you want to be in the next one, two, three, even five, or even ten years from now. So just knowing what you face and what your decisions will be can instantly give you a feeling of more power and certainty. So the next question that I want to talk about or the next top issue after social connections is housing. And the top questions here that I want you to consider for housing are uh, does the place where I live make me, feel con make me feel content? Does it drain my peace of mind? I remember when I was walking through this, uh, this particular issue of housing, I, I was living in the suburbs, and I asked myself, does this make me feel comfortable where I live? And quite honestly, it did not because I felt very separate, very isolated from the larger community. So another question to ask is, can I afford where I live? Is the home age-friendly, or will you have to spend a lot of money to make modifications? Another question is, is the location making me car dependent? When I lived in the suburbs, my only access to transportation and getting around was having a car. So that, you know, if I came into a situation or an emergency or if I became sick, I really worried about how I can do shopping or run an errand for medications or food or what have you. And if I was car dependent and lived miles away from shopping, that was a concern for me. Uh, another good question, can my family or friends reach my home quickly? Any time, day or night, and if, if there's an urgent need for them to come on over. Uh, does the house put me in an area where I'm alone most of the time? Would I be more content in an area that allows easy access to companions, to having social engagement, to having more access to museums and uh, other activities, parks, etc.? And these are the, you know, social activities that we really need to kind of think about as we grow older. So that is the question number four. In my next video, I will talk about the last top aging concern. So remember, you can download this starter kit by subscribing to my newsletter. I will put the link below in the uh, description of this video. 
And please circle back in the next few days where I will be giving more tips for aging alone. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give it a thumbs up. Send it to a friend if you appreciate this information and be sure to circle back often.